Welcome back to my channel. Today, Sydney and I are hanging out. We are doing a day in the life video. I have partnered with Leapfrog in this video to share with you guys a couple of their Blue's Clues toys. Um, so far this morning, I was able to wake up a little bit before Sydney and enjoy my coffee. Um, Sydney and I will be spending Thanksgiving here this year, just the two of us. Um, so I was watching a little bit of the cooking show this morning to get kind of some inspiration on what to do for some Thanksgiving meals um, items for Sydney and I. I'm not going to be making a turkey. I've on it. I don't eat turkey anyway. But I wanted to, you know, I still want to have a festive Thanksgiving meal for Sydney and I and make it, you know, an event and have her realize like, okay, it's Thanksgiving and this is what we are doing for the holidays. Anyway, so that's what I did this morning. I just kind of woke up before her, had my more, my hot coffee, watched some cooking shows, and then Sydney and I went outside and she played with her friend next door, our neighbor. So she played outside for quite a while, probably a couple of hours, even though it's freezing. We wrote with chalk. Um, my neighbor blew up some balloons for the girls. So they were just throwing around some balloons. That was really fun. I was able to drink my coffee before you got up. <laughs> Good morning. Look at, she wanted to sleep in her Christmas pajamas last night. <laughs> Were you cozy? Yeah. And they were too big. I know, that's okay, you'll grow into them. <laughs> to go run some errands i have to go um, return some bottles go to the grocery store grab some food i gotta figure out what i'm making for dinner what baby that's on the agenda today gotta run to hannaford figure out what is for dinner return the bottles and then i have of course like normal housework like we always do day in the life of a human blue is hungry for a vegetable that is orange and crunchy what do you a think? vegetable that's orange and crunchy Yes. All right, I need a show of hands down below how many of you guys watched Blue's Clues when you were growing up because I loved Blue's Clues and I can't believe it's back. So now our kids get to watch it. Um, reinvented, of course, but now they have. Look, you guys, Sydney's playing with her very own handy dandy notebook. I would have died to have this toy as a kid. Oh my goodness. How cute is this? So Sydney has been currently playing with her own handy dandy notebook. It has 14 different apps. They have colors, food, vegetables, magenta, um, counting, clock app, um, hygiene, paint. music, mailbox, phone. And, and, and paint. 
Paint. Yep, paint too. Yeah, Those are colors. And puppy and, and dog too. It is so cute, you guys. And puppy too. Yeah, that's blue. Leapfrog's Blues Clues and You really smart handy dandy notebook is intended for ages two and up and it would make the best little Christmas present for your toddlers as well as birthday presents. It has 14 light up icons that introduce toddlers to preschool colors, counting shapes, weather, health and hygiene. When you push blue, you can hear her little barks in different tones, and then you can also pretend to talk to Josh and Blue on the phone, check your email with mailbox, and use the music icons, which are Sydney's favorites, to dance and play along with songs. This one is the Leapfrog Blue's Clues and You Learning Watch. They do have a magenta version as well. It is so cute. You want to try on your watch? Leapfrog's Blues Clues and You Blue or Magenta Learning Watch is so cute. It is intended for ages three and up, and it features four different learning games that introduce kids to counting, shapes, problem solving, with tickety tock, slippery soap, shovel, and pail. Man, you guys, this is bringing back so many memories. Sydney absolutely loves playing with both of these toys, and they would make perfect Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers. <laughs> You don't want it on your hand? These toys would definitely make a perfect Christmas present for little ones, especially if they love Blue's Clues and they love learning. I mean, to me, it's just a nostalgic thing because I grew up watching Blue's Clues and I always wanted my own handy dandy notebook and I can't believe. Here we are now. Kids have all their own Blue's Clues items at the, and then the mailbox and slippery soap. And it's just so cute to watch her play with some of the things that I wish I had as a little kid and Blue's Clues. I mean, it's just a, nostal a nostalgic thing for me at this point. Anyway, what are you guys doing for the holidays? Leave me a comment down below. Are you able to get together with family? Or are you just having a little intimate dinner or lunch or whatever also i'm very curious to know when people actually eat their thanksgiving meal for my family it's usually around noon one o'clock in the afternoon um that's a typical thanksgiving you know when the whole family gets together type of a thing but i'm curious to know if you guys do a dinner or more of like a lunch thing for thanksgiving let me know down below so all right i need to get my butt in gear i've kind of allowed sydney to just play and get all of her energy out it's two o'clock can't see that anyway. It is two o'clock and now mommy needs to get some of her things done. Mama, I do this. Mama, I do this and it makes a rainbow. It makes a rainbow? All right, kiddo, we gotta go return some bottles, okay? And what should we do for dinner tonight? Um, what do you want for dinner? Tonight, I want peas with mac and cheese. Peas and mac and cheese? I was thinking something even better than that, like with chicken and vegetables, like maybe I, sweet potatoes. Oh, I never don't, don't like sweet potatoes. You love sweet potatoes. I like fries more. No, not like sweet potato fries, but regular sweet potatoes. Because I don't like sweet potato fries. I don't like. All right, let's go, kid. All right. I just pulled up at the grocery store and we literally live two minutes from the grocery store. And she broke out her snack, said she was hungry. And um, we can't go in until she finishes her snack, she says. All I have to do is drop off some bottles, the clink bottles, and then pick up stuff for dinner. I'm not going like full on grocery shopping. I don't have the, t the energy for that right now. I'm just gonna pick up some chicken, I'm see done. what inspires me. We do need some fruit for like breakfast, so just a couple of things. Mama. You're all done, you're ready? Yeah. Okay. So this is what happens when you go to the grocery store for chicken and veggies. You get a hundred and something, a hundred and one, I think it came to the tax dollars worth of groceries. 
Is it always that way? When I went in there, I was like, you know what? I might as well. I was, I just felt called to pick up things while I was there, like extra canned goods and things. So I was like, whatever. Just started putting things in my cart <laughs> and here we are. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul and show you what I picked up. So I picked up a bottle of wine, red wine. I actually have never tried this kind before, the Silk Menage a Trois. I like their, um, you know, regular blend, but this is a soft red blend. Apparently like it's, you know, smoother, softer, lighter. I don't know the words, but picked up some red wine. It was on sale for $8.99, I think. And then I grabbed some biscuits. Like I did say, Sydney and I are gonna be, um, you know, just here for Thanksgiving this year. Got some biscuits. These are just the Buttermilk Grand Biscuits. Um, back here, I got some pastas. So a thing of whole wheat penne. It's always nice to have it on hand. It's only like a dollar um, for pasta. So I grabbed that and I did grab Sydney a couple of her mac and cheeses. I like to get her the ones made with cauliflower. I just think they taste good. And Sydney likes the way they taste too. So I grabbed two of those. And then I did get one of the mac and cheeses that I like to eat. Very guilty pleasure of mine. Sometimes I'll have it as a side with dinner or just as a meal itself. And then um, speaking of like races and things, I don't know, this is so random. I've never bought this. I don't, oh, it does say new. No. Um, cheese risotto. Usually, you know, I don't like to buy these because they're high in sodium, but I don't know. I figured to have in the pantry is also, you know, going to be nice, a nice little like quick 90 second side dish. Um, so I grabbed that and then um, some goldfish for Sydney, the baked with whole grain goldfish. I have actually been out of butter for a hot second, so I needed some unsalted butter. I don't know, butter was pretty low in stock. It was kind of a weird, well, it's not weird. I'm sure everyone's baking and cooking and kind of preparing for um, Thanksgiving, but a thing of unsalted butter, some cream cheese, a couple packs. I can never have enough of this on hand. Um, I'm thinking about making a peanut butter pie, so I think I need cream cheese for that recipe for... Thanksgiving. I don't know. I do want to make a dessert for us, even though it's just us two. Um, a quick break snack. This has like the dried cranberries, cashews, and cheese. A thing of sour cream. Some bread for sandwiches and whatnot. Um, and then some milk, some 2% milk to have um, for sandwiches. I wanted that buffalo chicken again, so I just got some deli buffalo chicken and then some deli sliced american cheese as well some bananas for the week i did grab a couple of avocados these were on sale for 89 cents each so i snagged a couple i probably should have grabbed more but i don't want them to go bad so anyway so two avocados um this was totally a different buy but this screams the holidays to me the french onion dip do you guys eat these or did you have these growing up this french onion dip you can make your own of course but i grabbed the you know, pre-made and then the wavy chips has to be wavy chips or, you know, I don't know. It doesn't have to be wavy, but like plain chips dipped in the French onion dip. So yummy. The raspberries were on sale. I think they were $1.88. It's like the lowest I've seen them. So I snagged up some raspberries. They didn't look the greatest. So I'm sure they, they were like trying to get them to go. Um, when I do a big, big grocery haul, I will probably stock up and then you of course can like freeze them and whatnot. I did grab some Cool Whip. I think I need some some for my peanut butter pie recipe that I'm going to be making and then chicken of course chicken tenders we're actually going to have that for dinner tonight I have some in the freezer but I forgot to thaw them so leaving that out for to make something in two seconds um some kashi seven grain waffles for Sydney for breakfasts breakfasts breakfast <laughs> um some yogurt lemon meringue sounded really delicious this week so some oikos greek lemon yogurt and then this is I haven't had Hot Pockets in so long, but I thought this would be a nice thing to have just hanging out in the freezer um, for a random snack, quick lunch, whatever. Um, so five cheese Hot Pockets. Like it's, just, I haven't had these in so long. I just, I don't know, saw them and bought them. <laughs> Some seltzer, always like to have that. This is just cranberry lime seltzer. And then, oh yeah, another one of those rice things full of sodium, so bad for you, but so delicious. The creamy chicken rice. Again, just kind of being mindful of where my pantry's at right now and stocking up on, you know, certain things to have. Not like bulk buying, but just here and there, stocking up when I can. Um, I needed some vinegar. 
so just white vinegar white distilled vinegar and then a bunch of pouches for sydney i grabbed um i always like to grab like the tot pouches a lot of them have you know probiotics in them extra fiber and protein and things so those are just you know pouches for sydney to grab for snacks in the car she's always wanting snacks in the car um and then i grabbed a few things i'm like very low almost i think i'm out of all my canned veggies so i wanted to grab a few so i grabbed a couple cans of this sweet yellow and white corn i think two cans of that um a couple cans of sliced no salt added carrots yeah two cans of that and then i did grab the green beans made with um sea salt as well and then a thing of sliced beets and then I, you guys, I know, this is also one of the things that I like. I prefer jellied cranberry sauce over homemade. I just, I mean, I don't, I like, I like homemade. I just really like the jellied cranberry sauce. So I picked that up for Thanksgiving for Sydney and I. And then a couple things of frozen peas. I definitely prefer frozen peas over the canned. I don't, I don't love the canned peas. So I grabbed two things of frozen peas to have in the freezer and then I also did get a thing of fresh cranberries I'm not positive what I'm going to do with these um whether I have them for you know garnishes or make some yummy things with them I don't know we will see I, they were calling my name so I figured tis the season to grab some fresh cranberries and then to go in my pantry I also got some pasta sauce this is just a uh, roast garlic and herb and then um a thing of peanut butter I do have peanut butter on hand but again I'm making the peanut butter pie so didn't know how much it called for so I grabbed that so that is what I picked up for groceries um this is what happens when you go in for what two items you walk out with an entire thing of groceries but again it's not bad you know I have some things for my pantry and you know snacks and all of that I'm just trying to be extra mindful of you know the season and kind of how things are kind of not going so hot in Maine right now so I just want to minimize my actual trips to the store and stock up on things. away now I'm gonna make dinner I think I'm just gonna make a super easy like baked chicken um, with like a panko breadcrumb coating and then a veggie and then probably one of the rices that I bought today just super easy um, traditional dinner I guess for the evening Sydney's watching the Grinch she's over there tuckered out on the couch doing her thing watching the Grinch when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. So this is dinner tonight. I've got the chicken just in those breadcrumbs with a little bit of salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning with some barbecue sauce on the side. Um, that cheese risotto, I didn't read the instructions apparently. You're supposed to add a little bit of water before you cook it and I didn't. So it looks a little pasty, but I'm sure it'll taste fine. And then um, some green beans. We had green beans yesterday, so I just heated those up so we could have those for a veggie. And then I just poured myself the rest of whatever was <laughs> the other bottle of wine. I had a couple of ounces left. So that is dinner tonight. Sydney was starving, so I had to plate hers and cool it down like super fast. So she's eating that right now. Things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. 